welcome back. Uh, hopefully this video turns out okay. Um, I had to turn the phone upside down onto the other side. So we'll see. Uh, this video is about who I am and why I'm like this. Now this could be construed as to many ways and I construed as to many ways as to mean Wiccan, but I'm not going for Wiccan. I'm going for regular life outside of Wiccan. Um, sorry for the lighting. The sun is starting to go down again, like much quicker than I really realized. <laughs> so uh, if it gets dark suddenly, it's not my fault. <laughs> um, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is I was born in 1989 in Springfield, obviously. I've told you in another video. Um, I grew up on, well, I'm not even going to tell you the street name, sorry. Um, I grew up in a two-story home. The top story was its own little apartment and was usually rented out to some other family and I usually lived on the bottom. Uh, we switched, actually, we usually switched from down stairs to upstairs, and yeah, <laughs> it was very confusing at times. Um, on the downstairs, my bedroom used to actually be the basement. <laughs> that is where I had my very first ghost experience. Yeah. I don't know how old I was, I can't remember that far back, but I remember my bed being right in front of the doorway and waking up one night and seeing this white clothed woman sitting at the very end of my bed and she's opening her mouth to speak and I flip out and I run out the door, up the stairs, and I end up sleeping upstairs for the entire time that we lived there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, at the time, I was too young and didn't realize what that was and that she was trying to tell me something, I'm thinking, because she didn't re actually hurt me. She didn't even touch me, so I don't know exactly what that was about. Um... My next thing is we moved to Bell Fountain. My mom and my guardian broke up and we moved to Bell Fountain, Ohio. And we lived in an apartment there. And by that time, I was a Wiccan. I was not exactly fully Wiccan because, well, I was too young. I couldn't really practice yet. Um, my mother would allow me to do spells every once in a while, and Caroline did, did spells. Granted, she was two years older than me, so she might have been allowed. Um, although Caroline was for, Caroline liked black magic a little. I mean, I've, I call used to catch her doing it. So, yeah. I used to have a best friend back then in uh, Bell Fountain, and I basically built a fort and a bridge <laughs> in the backyard slash field that they had in the backyard of the thing. And so yeah, me and mom got into it one day and next thing I know I'm being shipped off to Indiana. Um, granted I chose, so don't think that I didn't choose. I chose to move. Um, yeah, um, I moved to Austin, Indiana, after that, we moved into this house. I was really young. I was only 11 at the time. Uh, by, we moved to another house in Scottsburg, Indiana, which is right next door to Austin. And at the time, my bedroom for there was the attic, which is was upstairs. It was a one-story house, but it had an attic upstairs, a huge, huge attic. Um, Hold on just one second. 
Sorry about that. Uh, I had to get my dog back into my bedroom and went and not to let her leave. Um, as I was saying, uh, we moved to a place in Scottsburg. The attic was my bedroom, as well as my stepbrother's. Um, that is where my second ghost experience happens. Um, I remember sitting up one night and seeing a lady being pushed down the stairs. Now. By the time I had gotten up and gotten to the stairs, there was no body at the end. Like, there was no body. So, I would go back and I go back to bed. Well, it happens again an hour later. So, I eventually moved back downstairs and they gave me the second bedroom. And I remember seeing the same ghostly figure standing outside my window. So, again, you know, it's a little odd. At the time, I was already starting to practice and doing spells, so I started to ward my room, making sure that nothing evil could enter, and I left it alone. I didn't say anything to it. I didn't tell anybody I knew, and I just left, let that ghost do whatever the hell it, whatever the hell it wanted. Um... After that, we moved back to Austin into an apartment. I went to middle school. I was bumped up a grade, so I actually, I skipped a grade, sorry. I skipped fifth grade. I was in fourth grade, and they told me I could skip fifth. So, I go to sixth grade, right at the start of middle school. <laughs> and, uh, so... I get to middle school, I meet uh, this guy named uh, named Chewy. We start dating for a while, and at the time, well, I had anger issues, and I blacked out and broke up with him. Yeah, sad, I know. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what the hell I did, but because I don't remember anything about that day at all. Like, I think I was so out of it. Uh, anyway, moving on, my, I met another guy a year later named Anthony, uh, we started dating after that, um, we dated off and on for more than a f four years, I think, uh, he said he wanted to marry me, he ended up going to Seymour, Indiana, and so... I never saw him again. I mean, I did off and on, but never really anything ever came from it. He did pr propose to me. I had used to have several rings from him about it, but so far it hasn't come to play. And recently he broke up with me permanently and I'm just so over his bullshit that I just told him to go fuck himself. So, yeah, our relationship is over. Um, in between relationship with me and Anthony, I've dated several other guys. One named um, Alex, Logan. What is his other name? Oh, shit. Ugh. Charlie. I don't remember the other name. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, yeah, so I dated those guys, and that's the end of it. I'm now currently single. Um, I also got a few jobs here and there. Um, graduated high school in 2009. <laughs> so yeah, I was 19 at the time. So 2010 is when my virginity was taken. I was 20, 22 maybe around that area. No, 21 maybe? Yeah. I think so. 
21. Um, that was a whole fiasco in itself. I'm not going to explain what actually happened that on that night, so please don't ask. Um, all you need to know is that I had sex with him, and that was my first time. That's all. Uh, after that, I went on to get other jobs, and then recently, back in 2014, I was living with a friend of mine, Tiffany, also known as my best friend. Uh, I ended up moving away from there and moving to my mother's here and back in Springfield, Ohio. Um, I plan on moving to back to Austin, Indiana at the end of May and possibly having my own apartment and car as soon as I can. So yeah, that is the story of my life. However boring it may be. Um, as I said, I grew up Wiccan. Um, I believe in Bost and Crononis. Those are my main gods that I pray to. And yeah, so since the lighting is getting horrible, I'm going to end this video here. So yeah, blessed be, love and light. And well, wait a minute. I might have more to tell you. I'll find a light. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Yay, more light. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go on to more videos. Okay, um, I'm going to make another video on top of this one. So it's going to be filmed in the same one. So, yeah. This one will be... Hmm. Why I started vlogging. It was a video I planned on making. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be long though, so I decided to make it into another video with another thing. Um, the reason I started vlogging is because I am not social. I hate people. I don't like to be around them. It's nothing personal. I just not a sociable person. Uh, people make me nervous. Too many people around me make me nervous. Um, yeah. So that's why I started blogging. I figured that if I couldn't be sociable in person, vlogging was the next step. <laughs> As you can see, I'm doing a very good job at that, if, if, if you've noticed all the videos I've made so far. Um, yeah, so let's do another one. <laughs> Alright, this one is my own code of, code of conduct and what else affects how I treat others and myself. Alright, obviously my code of conduct, one of them is as long as it harms none, do as you will. That basically means harming nobody, including yourself. Um, also, the other code of conduct is karma and the threefold law. I believe that if you send energy out, it will come back three times good or bad, depending on what energy you sent out or what you wanted to happen. It's all about up here. If you send out negative thoughts of what you wanted to do to somebody, it will come back just as worse on you. Um, I also believe karma has a hand in that, so I think karma also helps that along as well. Um, yeah, how I treat people is affected by that because I believe that I should treat people the way I want to be treated. Um, that's the way I was raised, and I believe that if I treat people like shit, I expect it to be treated like shit right back. I expect no special treatment. Um, I, however, do not believe in um, giving out respect unless you have earned it. Alright, I don't believe in this whole res respect your elders thing. I don't believe in that. I believe that if you have earned it, you will get it. If you haven't, you're not going to get it. Uh, so yeah, that's my video, and I will see you later. Love and light, and goodbye.